Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm gonna paint, I just knocked over my canvas. I'm gonna paint this cute little chickadee. I added some berries in Photoshop. I'll link this uh, reference photo in this video's description. I made a traceable, traceables on my website, annietro.com. And I'm gonna paint it on these, I'm gonna paint a couple of them. I'm gonna paint them on these cute little four inch by four inch canvases from Michaels. They'll sit on a shelf, they're an inch and a half thick. Okay guys, let's have some fun. Okay, so I've got the word love on my canvas. I have four of these. I'll just show you another one. I have four of these sitting here. Um, and I, I'm going to use Prussian blue. Where did I put that? So that color, that dark color is Prussian blue hue. And titanium white. And then I mixed, oh, I just knocked over my other canvas. I just mixed sort of a, a, sort of a medium blue, but I think I'm going to go for a pretty much light color. And then while I'm chatting here, I'm gonna keep my colors to, so Prussian blue, titanium white, Mars black, because there's black in the chickadee. Um, I'm gonna use this red, cadmium red medium for the berries. And then I'll put out some yellow so I can get some lighter oranges in the berries. Uh, and then I can mix some black with the, the red to get some darker shadows in the berries. Oh shoot, I'm gonna need brown. We'll do burnt umber two for the branch. Okay, I was gonna say I was gonna keep my colors pretty limited. I'll discuss those colors again. I've got a three quarter inch uh, filbert from Royal and Lang Nickel. It's their mental line. I'm gonna just dip. I don't, know if, I don't think you can see it. I just dipped pretty much where it's dark is where it's wet, um, but it was already dark. And now you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of creeping up the. The bristles and I'm gonna keep these pretty light so I'm probably gonna need more white out just kind of hint at some Prussian blue I like Prussian blue it's a nice um, already a little bit muted blue kind of a gray blue plus I'm picking up some of my chalk pastel underneath there I'm just basically gonna go like that. I think I'll um, I think I'll make it like it's sky a little bit, so it'll be more blue up the top, lighter at the bottom. You could do the sweeping sky. I can link that video how to paint a simple. Sky, I can link that in this video's description. That's when I start doing stuff like this. I just kind of crisscross. Oop, I just hit my hand. <laughs> I'm just kind of playing. I just hit my hand again. I grabbed some white to see what my value is. Plus I'm trying to look around the side of my phone as I'm videoing here. I don't know that I'm changing this much. Well, that's kind of fun. Okay, and each of my backgrounds are gonna be a little different. Okay, I'm gonna paint the sides and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I put out some burnt umber. 
Now I'm looking for it. <laughs> there it is. Burnt Umber. And I put out some Mars Black. I'm not going to put out the Cad Red and Cad Yellow until the end because they're just going to sit there. I'm not going to use them. And I'll, the only place I think I'm going to use them is on the berries. Uh, I've been working on the tree branch and I'm not real crazy about it. I did paint it over on the side. Oh, and I did paint. I won't show all you all of them, but I did paint four more and get traceables on four more of these. Um, I'm thinking that maybe a little bit rougher texture would be good, so I'm going to use a palette knife. I don't know if you can see that, getting a little bit of shadow. Um, I don't like this, but it doesn't mean I have to like get frustrated or start over. I think I just need to. Oops, probably gonna need some more white. I think I just need to play with it a little bit. There isn't a strong light source in this reference photo. Um, I put the berries in, but I, the highlight's right here. So the sun might be coming almost, instead of straight from the camera, it's coming a little bit from the right and front. There's a highlight on the top of the beak. You could say it's coming from the top. The head's uh, lighter on the top. You could just say it's coming from the top or top right. <laughs> I changed the direction a couple times on the other here. Let's put our sun. I don't know if it's going to show because I'm pretty close. We'll kind of tuck it under there. Okay. So I mix a little white and kind of this grayish brown puddle. I'm looking at my reference photo here. I'm going to stand it up so I can see it better. Here we go. I don't know that that's doing anything, but actually when I um, have trouble with it here, I'm going to wipe that off and then just grab some more on the bottom half and edge. There, so I can kind of lay it on. A lot of times a pellet knife will help you get more of a wood feel. Because it skips. There's like little, it's like just broken or, yeah, it's broken on this part right here. Oh, that's lighter than I want. Kind of play with it a little bit. Let's see, that's going to be sort of in shadow because the bird's covering it. Oh, I did kind of scoop my traceable up. Oh, about an eighth of an inch, just so I'd have a little more room to work on the branch. I was looking for the one here. I think it's this one. This one I laid on more square and then the branch is a little lower. So the branch starts there. This probably looks better than I think. It's just when I, you're, when I first paint it, I don't care for it. I was hoping that'd be a gray color, but I think I've got so much brown on my palette knife. It's too dark. I thought I'd just pop in. Kind of let you know what I was thinking. It might look a whole lot better too when I'm not so focused on it. Get the feet on, get the berries. I might just stop and see what it what we're up to and come back to it. Okay guys, I just wanted to pop in and let you know I added some color and I'm working on the branch. I'm going to do probably the feet and then the bird in that order.
Hey friends, I'm just popping in for a minute. I was using this 3 8 inch flat brush. It's a craft brush, I don't know from where. Well, I got it at Michael's, but I don't know what the brand is. For the body. And then using kind of a gray burnt umber color and some grays. This is kind of a warm gray, it's got a little brown in it. Just not using white yet. White, some white's gonna go here. Just kind of building up. I've already put a couple layers on the stomach. It might have enough paint. I don't know, when I look at it through the video, I kind of think I want a little more paint on it. But I also thought maybe it would be nice. I don't really see it in the reference photo. Well, you could, like, put some blue right here. I think that might be kind of fun. And I put some blue in the eye. I wonder if I want that eye a little bigger. So I was going to grab a little bit smaller flat brush. Maybe this one. I suppose that's a quarter inch. Let's just actually grab a little bit of water in it. Let's just put some blue in there. I also put some blue just kind of dabbing looking at my reference photo a little bit maybe just kind of in that area I'll sneak up on that eye a little bit more. I won't leave quite so much white around it. I think that might be kind of nice. I might have to come back and put it in, but that'll remind me. And I also thought I'd pop in because I'm going to stop here for tonight. Um, I have painted, I don't need to show you all of them, but I've painted this much on all four of them. And I, you know, when I get more of the bird done, I like the branch better because I'm not so focused on the branch. Okay, guys, when I think of something, well, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey friends, I put out some Cad Red Medium. Uh, this is a opaque color, so it must have a little white in it. Um, I think I have another Cad Red. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, this is a little darker. It says Cad Red Deep Hue. Yeah, it's, it's opaque. Um, sometimes the CAD reds are semi-transparent, and it'll depend on your brand. I don't see my other one. And then this is cadmium yellow medium hue, which is semi-transparent. That box is halfway filled. And then I mixed an orange. And what I'm going to do, actually what might be kind of fun, let's... Um, so that should be semi-transparent. Semi I'm going to grab a 
eighth inch flat brush a little bit of water and we could kind of warm up you don't have to do this you might not like it it might be a little yellow actually a raw sienna might be better can warm up your chickadee a little bit Kind of smeared on there we can warm up our branch but i don't think i want to because i'm going to paint um, the berries all right so i'm going to clean out that brush just because i forget um I, i'll wash it with soap and stuff too but just kind of get it clean in case i forget it let's paint i'm going to paint um some of the berries i'm going to start with orange and we you don't have to get them exactly where the traceable is either i might just erase that chalk pastel so it doesn't blend so that blue doesn't blend in with my orange and make mud because they are compliments okay let's just put in a couple of berries and then I can come back and darken them let's grab some orange I think I already made my, that berry bigger. <laughs> I do that. Oh, I don't have a highlight in the eye, but I could maybe put one in there. Well, I do. I have a highlight. It's just not a bright, bright. Here, actually, maybe you want to see what's going on. So saving the white, and then I put a couple of coats in this area. I came back and put a more white here. It pops. It's kind of fun. I like the little bit of blue. Ties in the background. Plus, as I just said, blue and orange are compliments. So I'm going to paint a bunch of these, let them dry. And then I can come back and paint with some red. I could add a highlight. I could mix um, just a pinch of blue. Just a little blue and some red and make a darker red. It'll start leaning towards purple. Oh, I was really, I could have went a little stronger. This won't make the best purple because it's a muted blue, but we don't, we just want a darker red. I don't know if you can see that. That's a little bit darker, but I could have went a little Better to go slow. Sometimes I go fast and I have a huge puddle of paint, <laughs> which is okay. Sometimes I just scrape it off if it's too much. There, now I've already got a, a darker red for some shadow. I wonder if we want that a little, sorry guys, I'm trying to mix it in this little space on, on video. We could go just a little, a little darker. I think that's definitely going to be there. I'm just looking for enough of a change between there and there. Okay. So I'm going to paint my berries and then I'll be back.
Hey, it's starting to look good. Um, now I'm liking that yellow orange in the belly of the chickadee. I added this, I'm gonna grab a little brown. I added this branch because this branch up here was just kind of floating in my traceable. So I connected it. I don't know, you guys can, you know, of course do what you like, see what you think. Um, I didn't need to paint the highlights on when I first painted the orange. It did help me a little bit, but I forgot that this, after I told you guys, I forgot this red isn't transparent. So even my orange isn't that transparent, but it's okay, it didn't hurt anything. Um, here's the best example of not making them all the same color. This one's darker, this one's a little lighter, this one's almost yellow. And then I don't have much highlight on these right down here. That doesn't really show. Um, just for variety, like kind of like the um, chickadees blocking in a little bit. So now what I'm going to do, we're, we're pretty much done. And you could splatter. You could splatter with a toothbrush. I've showed in several of my um, ornament videos. I take a longer, skinny, round brush, make my paint like milk, and tap it on there. Um, I think this time I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush and make some bigger snowflakes. Um, if you want bigger than here, if you want bigger than that, you can press all the way down. I think I might like that better or just for variety sake too. So I don't have all these splatter uh, paintings at the gallery. I don't know if I would need to put a bunch. I was thinking I might put some of this medium blue too for snow. But um, I think this might be working. Let's see, I don't wanna go, I'm kinda lining them up. Let's put kinda like this. I think it might be cuter just to have a few. I think I'll sign it here. Put one on her chickadee. This is more control, which you might like for snowflakes. Well, and then, and then my sky is kind of blue. Maybe it's not snowing that hard. Let's see, that lines up. Maybe we'll go down. Oh, you know what I should do is dry it here. I could put a couple on the top. So my tail goes over on the side and my branch goes over on the bottom. But it would be kind of fun to put some on top. I'm trying to get a little one. So light touch for little. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I'll put some on the sides too. Okay, guys, let me know what you think in the comments or just say hi. I I'll wave back to you. I'll comment back. Um, it's really fun for me. Or maybe we should do a little tour. I kind of did a tour, I think, earlier, but I don't remember. And I don't know how well my phone will focus here. I think that's fun. That's, it's a fun one that could be a holiday gift or just in a winter gift. Could stay up fall through spring almost. I love that. I feel like I could do, a, I might like a few more of the yellow orange ones as I'm looking at that. I don't know if we can bring it up. It's a fairly transparent color. I could grab some yellow. That kind of works. We'll see how it dries though. Putting it on kind of thick. All right, I'm starting to say goodbye. Let me know what you think. I, I really like this one. I'm gonna paint three more of them. I've got, I've got three more that are in this stage. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you, thank you for all your support. I super appreciate it. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.